Now, in spite of all of these advances, uh, last year you might have heard uh, through the media that Medicare decided to deny national coverage for reimbursement for screening CTC. And uh, the three main reasons that they gave was that they didn't know enough about radiation dose, they didn't know enough about cost-effective management of extracolonic findings, and they didn't know enough about the performance of uh, virtual colonoscopy in the older uh, Medicare age patients, so age 65 years and above. Well, I think um, I can tell you that I was a part of the discussions and the meetings, and um, we represented some of the radiation dose uh, data using the newer studies, and CMS was quite, I think, satisfied that we um, had lower dose and that the ACR, American College of Radiology, in our practice guidelines have um, stated standard of care is low dose, and it keeps it, again, down to that three to four millisievert range. In terms of extraclonic findings, there are additional uh, studies being performed looking at cost-effective analysis of extraclonic findings. You know, it's, again, one of these where it's very hard uh, to determine um, the value of finding uh, something outside of the colon without IV contrast. Um, however, I can tell you just uh, from all of the studies that we've performed, we have identified renal cell carcinomas. And, you know, these cancers tend to be at an earlier stage because typically patients are not symptomatic from them. We also pick up abdominal aortic aneurysms because we do get the lower lung bases. We've picked up pulmonary uh, uh, masses. Uh, and liver cancers as well. So there are all sorts of extracolonic lesions that are um, could be potentially fatal to the patient if detected later on that we are detecting on the CTC. Now, this is an area of controversy, and on the other side of the argument is the fact that you know we may pick up too many uh, lesions outside of the colon, and we wind up working up too many of them to determine which ones are uh, uh, significant and that this uh, adds uh, uh, additional dollars to uh, health care that uh, may not be acceptable. So that has not been settled. I can tell you that for this, le the last reason, performance in Medicare age patients, there are already studies coming out showing that CT colonography works just as well in the older age uh, patients and in fact seems to detect more lesions. And that makes sense because as I mentioned earlier on, we do see that there's an increasing incidence of these adenomatous polyps with increasing age. So this is just a study that was published in February in radiology, uh, 577 patients. Again, these are all Medicare age patients, age 65 and above. And you can see that the concordance rate, the matching of the CT colonography finding and the colonoscopy findings. So all of these patients underwent both uh, studies. Um, this was just in the setting of this trial. There was a 91% uh, concordance. So there was a great uh, match uh, between the two tests. You can see that the test positive rate was at 6.8% uh, for 10 millimeters and above and higher for the 6 millimeters and above. The false positive rate uh, was acceptable and that was fairly low. Now what about program outcomes when you compare the older patients uh, to a general screening cohort? Uh, and you can see that the cases of advanced neoplasia is higher, about double the rate as uh, the general screening cohort, but that makes sense again because we're talking about older patients who would have a higher incidence of polyps and malignancy. The referral for colonoscopy is also higher, almost double, and again that makes sense because we're finding more lesions in the older patients. Um, what about extracolonic findings? This was the point of contention with CMS. Well, here it's interesting. There was a higher incidence of extracolonic lesions. Again, that makes sense, doesn't it, uh, compared to the general screening cohort. But when you look at, you know, even though we may refer a patient for additional workup or additional test that may or may not happen based on the patient's symptoms or what other um, other uh, more comorbidities the patient may have, they may actually never get worked up for that finding that we made on CT. But when, so when you look at the actual um, workup rate for the extra clonic findings, it was at 8% uh, compared to 6% in the general screening cohort, and this was not statistically significant. And this is uh, uh, important, and this is being represented to Medicare. So the conclusion from the study is that the CTC, or the virtual colonoscopy, is a safe and effective screening test uh, for the older population. Now, just to show you that there is congressional support 
for virtual colonoscopy or CTC. This was a letter that was signed by over 50 members of Congress after the CMS denial asking for a uh, reanalysis uh, and uh, a change in the decision. The president uh, had a uh, virtual colonoscopy for his first uh, screening test. And in fact, um, in speaking with uh, folks that I know of, I, I found out that the um, uh, a lot of the White House staff and Capitol staff actually have C2 colonography uh, as their uh, screening test.